hyenas done it's active you can really see two hyenas in the, in the den here a special females that are really suckling in the at the stage it might be the mother they just come back here recently now there's a chance for the youngster to to nest the youngster and for the youngster that has to get ready go inside the mound and lie down. But really if it's overcast like this, we tend to see the youngsters a lot more active running around in the area. One thing, I mean, with hyena, if there's no kill around in the area, really you find lots of hyena around the dead itself because there's no food that may be disturbing them to come back in time. And it happens quite a lot because when lions have a kill, they tend to hang around where the lion make a kill. Hoping the lion has to finish, then they may come in and start to shout bones and pieces of meat that's been left over around there. The youngster that we're looking now, really it looks like she or he is around somewhere 12 months old. He's at the same edge of the puppies that we daily see here around the the hyena den itself. And we have to we have a tent to see the youngster that the mother is busy nursing. He's going away from the spot normally. He might be going along the drainage line. It's how really high enough do during the day is he's crossing over from the other side. They find the very thick area that they can lie down using that for a day where it's quite a lot of cover. So the female that's really lactating, they will come here and nurse the female, nurse the youngster. We're not going to see the whole family because really as you can see that that's a feet of hyena. Very beautiful. And that feet there, as you can see, it's a lot more difficult to see though. It have a cloud that's sticking out all the time when they move around the area, what it's left on the ground is the claw mark. I can see the claw mark right here. The claw mark it also shows up from the tracks where the other uh, cat family, they don't do that. This is a, a dog-like family which is sticking all the claw out like that. Once they move on the ground or wherever they will step on the ground, they left the information of the claw. As far as hyena do that, wild dog do that, cheetah also do that. So leopard, lions and the others, they don't do that at all. Civet, they don't do that. You really see uh, only tracks on the digital of this animal because these are digital great. It's unlike the other species which has got hooves. So really, you almost see the digital, you can't see the claw mark at the end, but from the hyena you will see that really, and it also defined itself, what you can see from the screen here, it got the claw mark just end of those uh, toes that indicate it's a hyena. Is this one of the strong animal, a lot more powerful animal when it comes to carrying loads on the jaws that really can maintain that is in their nature. Of course, carrying, I mean, even big, <laughs> I mean, thin or a big uh, bones around, a thick one that you can drag it from the kill. Even you can see picking bones from elephant which are heavy bring it back to the den side sometimes especially if they're still fresh and let the youngster and themselves feeding on that it's amazing hyena can carry a half impala 
and running away from lions or running away from leopards with full speed, no problem. These animals they become scavenging in the area because the, when it comes to hunting, there are more individuals in the area unless if they come across with something with that it need assistance or fighting, then they can communicate with the members of the den really to assist. But when it comes to hunting, the solitary individuals, they don't have to be compounded by the others. And that is all different of hyena that you find here from south. Uh, and also, if you go more far east of Africa, hyena that they group together, hunt something big or hunt anything that might be survived. So because there it's more open terrains. Also here, the reason why they be always so tree is because it's very thick. It's not more chance for them sneaking, coming, close by to the leopard or lions if they kill something and they can really disturb them and take the meat away. So from the area where it's thick and the area where it's open, of course it's a lot more animal land to survive differently because of the environment. So our environment here, it teaches our animals to be so lazy as far as hyena. They don't do their own kill at all. So the area where it's more open, the point of view is more open, it will be more difficult to hunt because you must see it from the distance with the antelope. So really the antelope can run away. If you find lions in Af I mean some of the areas more, where it's more open, it really suffer when it comes to hunting. So they have to group together. Even hyena tend to group together in the area where it's more open and hunt anyone. Chase anyone until get exhausted eat the animal whilst they're alive. So here it can't happen because they will sneak around seeing the kill there and come there and have it. And also the success rate of all these predators in the area is very high when it comes to hunting. Lions and leopards, sometimes they tend to leave quite a lot of meat for the hyena behind and the hyena can survive on. So there's no need for them to be bunched together and try to hunt.